This product has probably been one of the most impressive products from Vintage Muscle for providing some sort of an exotic, unique blend. A couple times I actually felt like my mood was increased while I was taking it. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this pro-hormone blend from Vintage Muscle called Hydroxygen. Now, Vintage Muscle contains three really potent pro-hormone style blends, and I don't know if you guys have been following my channel, but I love the effects of pro-hormones. I love all the extra strength that I get, all the extra size that I get, but I'm somebody who doesn't really like any of the side effects that go along with it. I don't like the agitation. I don't like the shutdown. It's just really not for me, and I don't really like mood swings, things like that. However, this supplement seems Seems to be a very premium blend but it focuses more on fat burning and most of these blends feature some form of DHEA so I did a little bit of research and I came on this site that basically showed all the forms of DHEA and kind of ranked them as far as muscle size, fat loss, things like that. And when you look at the chart for 7OXO, it seems to be only for fat burning. There seems to be not much muscle gain at all. And upon doing further research, apparently it really doesn't affect any of the androgen receptors or estrogen receptors. Apparently it doesn't convert into those. So any of the effects of anger, any of the effects of shutdown, any of the effects of hair loss, things like that, you apparently won't get it with this form of DHEA. So it's mainly for fat burning. And the other ingredient that I was a little bit worried about is this I think it's called T2 and I think it's supposed to be a thyroid hormone and my mom's thyroid was actually too big and they went in and took some out so I know it's kind of in my family I don't really want to mess with thyroid hormones but I had no issues taking this mix I didn't really have too many side effects the main side effect I noticed is that it made me really hot but it's a fat burner so it's designed to do that okay I actually skipped one and they also feature laxogen in now I tried 5-alpha hydroxylaxogenin, which is supposed to be the stronger form of laxogenin. I'm not sure if that's the form they're using here or they're using the original form. When I used it, it was very potent. Um, my favorite anabolic up to this point is turkesterone because I get lots of benefits and nearly no side effects. And, and when I tried 5-alpha hydroxylaxogenin, I seem to get a lot of the same benefits, except I got more negative side effects and more muscle gain. So for that reason, I haven't really touched it too much since then. But it's nice that it's featured in this mix because up until this point, the two ingredients that I've talked about are pretty much only for fat burning and pretty much have nothing to do with muscle gain. And somebody who's gonna be taking this product is obviously gonna to try to get nice and lean, but they're also gonna want some muscle preserving effects and you know to keep their size as well. And so the laxogen and the last ingredient here are kind of for the muscle preserving preserving side and muscle gaining side at least a little bit. And the last thing they got in here is the one that I've studied the least and apparently it is some sort of a flavonoid and I think it's like a methylated version of a flavonoid something like that and a lot of these flavonoids have a lot of health benefits as it is but they also have some anti-estrogen effects and when you take something with some anti-estrogen effects it usually has a positive effect on your overall testosterone because you have less estrogen in your body so you're going to have more overall testosterone and a lot of times your body will up the creation of the base hormones because your overall hormones are a little bit low with the estrogen being lower. So it just seems to be all good for testosterone. I haven't done too much research or tried that flavonoid personally, but from all the research that I've done, it seems very, very good. This product has probably been one of the most impressive products from Vintage Muscle for providing some sort of an exotic, unique blend. I felt almost no agitation on this supplement. In fact, I almost felt good a few times that I was taking it. A couple times I actually felt like my mood was increased while I was taking it. And I don't think I've come across a pro-hormone up until this point that really boosted my mood like this one. Now it wasn't every time, it wasn't a big mood boost, but I was really watching to see if my mood got lowered and at times it actually seems like it raised it up. And to be honest guys, this is a fat burner. When I was taking this, I was just eating and doing things like normal. Um, I tend to eat mostly protein, try to eat as clean as I can, and pretty much just do lifts at the gym. It seemed as if I was a little bit leaner, a little bit more shredded at times, so maybe it was this product. But I had actually really good strength in the gym. I had pretty decent size. I definitely noticed those muscle-preserving effects. It wasn't as strong for me as something like turkesterone. I actually felt like that was a little bit stronger for me personally. But overall, guys, I was really, really impressed by this. Again, I wasn't even eating that clean, and there was times where I looked probably more shredded than I have in a long, long time. 
time. It had pretty good muscle building and muscle preserving effects. I also felt like my strength was really high in the gym as well. I think it goes for $97, $98 on vintagemuscle.com, which is a little bit higher than their other blends. A lot of their main blends, you get pretty much like a bunch of capsules and one of these vials, and it's usually about $60. However, I think the vials that they offer in those blends are about half the size of this, and it recommends taking two milliliters, where as I think the other blends, they only recommend it taking one. And I think the price will actually go down if you use my discount code Real Josh TV. I think it's like 28%. So it'll end up being probably like high 70s, maybe into the $80 range. You know, because it features laxogenin, it does kind of cake a little bit at the bottom. So you do have to shake it up quite a bit. And last thing I want to say about the supplement, guys, is the taste. It's a little bit weird to me. It's featured in this alcohol base or alcohol blend, and I'm not really sure the main use of it. Somebody suggested that it's for injecting, whereas somebody else came on my channel and said it's supposed to be taken under the tongue. And I'm not really too sure exactly how you're supposed to take it. There was a point where I thought it was used for injecting and I kind of just stopped taking it because I don't know if it was going to be good for me. But I've since taken it orally, tried to take it a little bit under the tongue. And I don't know, I'm just not a really big fan of the alcohol style taste. As far as my physique is concerned, even a little bit of alcohol really just kind of depletes it. It makes it look kind of weak. So if I'm taking something for muscle building, I'd prefer not to have any, but that's just me. And yeah, guys, I really, really like this supplement. I had pretty much no side effects. Its main muscle building effects are that laxogenin and the other flavonoid. I was worried about the T2 thyroid hormone, didn't really have an issue with that. I was worried I was going to get into a bad mood and I actually at times felt like I was in a better mood. So yeah, guys, really, really like this supplement. If it's up your alley, I highly recommend it. It's definitely for a fat burning cycle and for somebody who doesn't want all the extra side effects that you get from normal pro hormones. So anyways, guys, that's been my review of 7OXO. Anyways, guys, that's been my review of 7OXO Hydroxygen by Vintage Muscle. One of my favorite blends by them. They have two other blends in this series. I think it's like the God series. So the most expensive things that they offer. And this was definitely the one that interested me the most. And I think and I think I would probably get some of my typical side effects if I went back to the other ones. So anyways, guys, have you tried this supplement? Have you tried any of the ingredients in this supplement? I'll be very interested to see down below. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.